<laughs> Greetings, weary travelers, fellow story gremlins, to more spooky time. And I almost became a spooky story because I almost slipped in the shower. If you have any spooky stories you want to share or any other kinds of stories, you can either email me or there's links below in the description where you can submit. Alrighty, grab your cozies and snackies and let's head on into it. And if you want to up the spoop a little bit, turn off the lights, put on headphones. I dare you. And we're gonna do a little warm up with a two sentence horror story. I love these. I love the, there's not a lot to them. So it just allows your imagination to just run wild. And this one's by the lovely Nether Plays VR. Almost forgot your name. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> His skin turned a sickly yellow, veins darkening and spreading like ink beneath the surface. Ooh. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Maybe I should, maybe I should finish the story first before I... <sighs> spreading like ink beneath the surface. Each night, his eyes glowed with an unnatural light, and he spoke in a voice that chilled the air, foretelling a dreadful fate. Well, what is it? Leave me with a cliffhanger like that? Okay, so what I was going to say is, did you ever watch those, um, I think it was called A Thousand Ways to Die? Just the more realistic, horrifying version of Dumb Ways to Die. There was this one where someone, like, injected themselves with glow stick fluid it was horrifying it was that one and then another one i saw where like someone's sternum broke and i was just like <sighs> those images will never leave my mind and i wish they would honestly very good on the oogly boogly scale for telling a dreadful fate oh <sighs> i love and hate that it's like oh, it could be anything it could be anything imagine you close your eyes and you just still you just see yellow <laughs> And it was all you know. Like, can I sleep, please? Less horrified and more just annoyed. He spoke in a voice that chilled the air. Some kind of seer? Ooh, that'd be interesting, because if he's foretelling, something bad's gonna happen. All right, nice warm up. Now let's get into a story. I was hired to clean out an old mansion. What I found in the attic still haunts me. Ooh, oogly boogly. I've been a professional cleaner for years. Horrifying enough in itself. I cannot imagine the things you have found. Specializing in old abandoned properties. Ooh, kind of like when you're, um, you have the graveyard cleaners. I've heard it pays pretty good, which I could see why, because you'd have to have like a heart of steel. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I get scared when I'm going into the bathroom in the middle of the night. I'm a wimp. What an interesting specialization. It's not a glamorous job, but it pays well, and I've always enjoyed the solitude. Yeah, honestly, I've thought about like just you know, being a cleaner before. Cause I enjoy that and I enjoy the satisfaction of cleaning. However, my latest assignment has left me questioning everything I thought I knew about the world. You saw something real nasty, didn't you? <laughs> I imagine there are messes so bad that it makes professional cleaners question the world that much. Paranormal or not, it's just a bunch of ectoplasm everywhere. They had diarrhea that day, sorry. It started like any other job. <laughs> what is this noir setup? It started like any other job. I was hired by a wealthy client to clean out a mansion. That is literally the start to a horror movie. <laughs> Trust nothing, don't do it. That had been in his family for generations. The place was massive, with dozens of rooms filled with dust and forgotten furniture. I trust nothing. My client, Mr. Dawson. That is such a... Is Mr. Dawson a ghost? You can tell us. Gave me strict instructions to leave the attic alone. <laughs> No, there's so many red flags. He said it was full of old family memorabilia. Yeah, sure. You mean old family? And he would handle it himself. Curiosity has always been my weakness. Ha ha, you fool! You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. <sighs> you are the first one to die in a horror movie. I hate to tell you. <laughs> He's like, I did, typing on his ghost computer. We are receiving a story from the beyond. Dude, after all those red flags, you should not have passed go. I don't care if there's $200 to collect, you should not have done it. Imagine if you only got $200 for that. Mm. I would believe it. People don't value like janitors or cleaners as much as they should. Shout out to all of you because you do a great job. But yeah, that's unbelievable to me that people like scoff at people like that. Cause it's like, dude, they're literally cleaning up after you. You want to do the work? No? Then appreciate them. Or I would haunt you. After a week of cleaning, ugh, and still not done. I mean, it is a mansion, to be fair. I couldn't resist the urge to take a peek. Why? You are the frustrating person to watch in, in horror movies. <laughs> 
One afternoon while Mr. Dawson was out, I climbed the narrow staircase to the attic. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. The door was locked, but a quick search through the house yielded an old key that fit perfectly. The skeleton key. It's literally a skeleton. The attic was unlike any other part of the house. It was dark and musty with a single window covered in grime. As I moved my flashlight around, I noticed a strange metallic smell in the air. It's probably blood. Trust nothing. Swipe left. Why must you stress me out like this? Why did you do this? The space was filled with old trunks and covered furniture, but one thing caught my eye immediately. A large, ornate mirror leaning against the far wall. No. Portal to the demon realm. No. You should have hightailed out of there, you buffoon. Oh, I never thought about that phrase, high tail, like a cat. You're like, you, you want the tail up because then you can run away. <laughs> I approached it cautiously. How? Why did you do this? My flashlight beam bouncing off the glass. As I got closer, I saw something move in the reflection. <laughs> I like that my response to getting scared is just getting mad at you. <laughs> my heart skipped a beat and then stopped. Now I'm the ghost of this attic. That's what Mr. Dawson does. He just, he knows, don't go in the attic. He knows people are going to go up there. And that's what he wants because he wants you to see the mirror get so spooked that you just die right there. And then he collects the ghosts like Pokemon. Another cleaner for my collection. It's specifically cleaners. He gets to keep all the stuff. Not even use it, just display it. Just to make you even more mad at the non-use of your cleaning supplies. And I spun around, but there was nothing there. Ugh. I hate that ghosts do this. They just constantly prank you. I guess I gotta keep themselves entertained somehow. I turned back to the mirror and my blood ran cold. I morphed into an iguana right there <laughs> so I could scurry away. Ding dong, I'm ding dong. Ding dong, I'm a shapeshifter. The reflection showed the attic as it was, but there was a figure standing behind me. A tall, shadowy man with glowing red eyes. Do not perceive me, sir. I felt a chill run down my spine as the figure raised a hand and pointed directly at me. <gasps> yeah, that's, that's sending shivers down my spine. Good job, I will never sleep again. I want your cleaning supplies. <laughs> Give me the fabulous soul. I stumbled back, knocking over an old trunk. The figure in the mirror started to move, <laughs> slowly stepping closer. My instinct screamed at me to run, but my legs felt like lead. Just as the figure was about to reach the surface of the mirror, I snapped out of my paralysis and bolted for the door. And then I bolted it shut. No one else is going in there ever again. I slammed the attic door shut behind me and locked it. My heart pounded in my chest as I leaned against the door, trying to catch my breath. I could hear faint whispers coming from the other side. <laughs> Give me the fabuloso. But I couldn't make out any words. The metallic smell seemed to linger around me, clinging to my clothes. Ew! I decided to leave the mansion that night. I packed my things and left a note for Mr. Dawson, explaining that I couldn't continue the job. He's like, dang it. He's like, so close. That one was limited edition. As I drove away, I glanced back at the house and saw a figure standing in the attic window watching me. Don't you dare look at me, you creeper. A few days later, I received a call from Mr. Dawson. He sounded frantic, asking me if I had gone into the attic. I admitted that I had. You fool! I was not expecting you to actually talk to him. That's cool. <laughs> and he cursed under his breath. He told me that the mirror had been in his family for centuries and that it was cursed. <gasps> Anyone who saw the figure in the mirror was doomed to be haunted by it for the rest of their lives? No, no, no! I thought he was crazy, but the nightmares began almost immediately. Every night I dreamt of the attic and the figure with the red eyes. I feel its cold presence watching me, waiting for the moment when I let my guard down. <clears throat> my fabuloso! My fancy duster! That's literally all he wants. As soon as you let your guard down, he just goes, yoink! Now my mirror will be the cleanest it's ever been. That's literally all this guy's been wanting. He just, he just wants your cleaning supplies. His mirror has been dirty for so long. I've moved twice since then, but the dreams follow me wherever I go. I've tried to destroy the mirror in my dreams, but it always reappears untouched. I'm writing this as a warning. If you're ever cleaning out an old house and find a hidden attic, leave it alone. Some secrets are better left undisturbed. Bruh. Someone says, well, I guess curiosity won't be your weakness anymore. <laughs> I have a feeling, I don't know. Do you guys think this one's real? Because it 
towards the end, it does feel a little like, okay, I don't know how much, how much this is real. Maybe that's me coping, because I hope this isn't real. Real or, real or not, real or not, that was pretty good. That, that got my heart pumping, that got my, my neck hairs a tingling. Now for another two sentence one. In the stillness of the night, she felt a gentle tug at her sheets. That better either be my dog or my little toddler. Turning, she saw her own gaunt face. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Twisted in agony, hovering over her, whispering, I never left. I'm just inside you now. Oh! <laughs> it's gonna be me when I'm a ghost. That was a sneak peek at my ghostly whales. Uh, it's so dumb. That just made me think like, oh, I'm a whale ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll be reincarnated as a whale, and then I'll die again, and then I'll just be stuck as a whale. Yeah, if I can't experience being big now, I'll be big in my afterlife. But I like how it's my reincarnated afterlife. <laughs> that one is good. And this one was like, huh? <laughs> and then OP says, it's meant to be a horror story about a cancer reoccurrence. That is creative. I don't know if I would have guessed that, like, I don't even know what I thought. I'm just too busy just feeling like, Ugh. too busy feeling the tingles down my spine. But I, I can see that. This is the story of haunted items in my secondhand store. Of course, of course, 